I've been using Retin-A. There's also Tretinoin, which I've used. Both of the creams that I tried were prescription grade, so they were intense. And anti-aging, acne clearing, yeah, they do that. In fact, this stuff is like just a cream, but it, it does a lot, both good and bad. The side effects are intense, and everybody kept saying like, Right away when you use this, it's going to be really dry. Like your skin will feel and look dehydrated. And it's also very likely to peel and flake. But what I notice is being consistent with this product means that my skin starts to clear up right as soon as I started using it. But it kind of keeps peeling even after a year of using it. The side effects don't necessarily go away. And while some of these can be mitigated by using less product and staying consistent with it, because when you just like stop and start again, that's that's going to be a problem. But ultimately, I've had to learn a few things and do a few things differently because like, look at my like under my lip, it's like flaking, like it's peeling. Like, (laughs) yeah, I mean, that's that's a hard one. It's a tough thing, especially when you have something going on. Like I've had my makeup done and then I'm just like, I I think I have to scrub this off. Uh, I love the effects of tretinoin, but there's got to be a better way. So I started doing like research, of course. How can I mitigate the side effects of tretinoin? And I learned that niacinamide is really good at offsetting the sensitivity that tretinoin or retin-A can give your skin. And I fully see the difference. Actually, it's a really big difference. So I always use a niacinamide something, serum or cream, when I use the prescription cream. But this is exactly the little part in my skincare where devices have been playing an incredible role. My favorites have the same aim as tretinoin or retin-A, anti-aging, clear skin, luminosity, and red light masks in particular have been so integral to healing the skin barrier and doing it faster than if I wasn't using red light. This helps to minimize the side effects just like adding in a niacinamide serum and I'm really grateful to be working with such great skincare brands, including Amuro. This section of the video is sponsored and I was really excited when they reached out because this has to be one of the more chic looking, most affordable red light masks that I've come across on the market. This red light mask is five in one and it has one particular feature, which is purify mode. This is anti-acne. This is meant to purify the pores, and this light combination directly attacks bacteria, which causes inflammation and then pimples. Purify mode being excellent at purifying blackheads, oily skin, cystic blemishes before they become a problem, and then glow mode being to soothe the top layer of the skin, especially after tretinoin, creating luminosity, And then the deepest level of red light, which is firm mode. And this is to stimulate collagen and fade dark spots. All three of these modes are set for five minutes. And what I really like is you put this on like eyeglasses or like sunglasses. And that means that a mom who wants to do a lot of anti-aging in her skincare or a daughter who wants to purify her pores and prevent acne They could both use this mask because you put it on like sunglasses and only the silicone goggles touch your face. There's not a lot of interaction between whatever creams on your face or whatever serum you have. Always make sure that you use these without oil on your skin. Um, So don't apply oil and then use these. I should mention that. But the point being that two people could really share this comfortably in my personal opinion. And I think that that makes it economical for a household and not just an individual. Plus, because you can wear this like a pair of eyeglasses, it makes it easy to do your hair versus other masks where they strap around the back of your head. Here's how I use the Spectra mask by Amira. First, take a micellar water and just remove any sunscreen that I had on from the morning. And then I'll take some green tea spray, which is proven to amplify the effects of red light. And then I quite literally just put the mask on, stays on for five minutes, and 
Then I finish up with some moisturizer when I'm done. This helps a lot when I'm using my tretinoin and really makes my skin glow. If you'd like to buy this mask, you can use Alexandros 50 for $70 off your order. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll leave all of the links below. Check out my channel to watch more.